Good morning. I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. This morning we're looking at a very clean and well-equipped 2007 Chinot 36. This boat is in excellent condition, has full Ray Marine electronics package, classic hoist mainsail with a stack pack, a very thorough canvas package we'll talk about. Uh, it has an S-bar heater so you can make heat in the spring and summer when you're away from the dock. Uh, a full collection of fans to keep things cool when it gets hot down below. And just overall, everything is very, very clean. Right, let's take a look at the outside of the Chanel 36. Here's the port side. I can't really get around much more than that. Toujours means always. In French, obviously. Here we have a swim platform with uh, teak. Swim ladder. One shore power connection. It does come with a 30 amp shore power cord. This boat has the radar on the mast, and I noticed there's a floodlight as well, which is kind of cool, so you can light things up at night if you need to. And we can see more of the starboard side. The teak tow rails need a little cosmetic work. But we're selling it as is, that way you can refinish it the way you want. Classic hoist mast with a stack pack. Full canvas package. In fact, it's one of the more thorough canvas packages I've seen. If you want shade, this gives it to you. There's even covers over the windows in the Dodger. A full connector that actually extends, extends out further than most to give you more sun protection. And that's removable. All right, let's go aboard and take a look. This is a classic hoist mainsail with a stack pack type system with lazy jacks built in. So you unzip the cover, drop the sail, it falls into the cover, you stuff it in there and zip it up. So it's actually the preferred way if you're gonna have a classic hoist mainsail. That's my favorite type of system. Fairly easy to do. And you have a roller filling Genoa with a proper umbrella sacrificial cover on it. We do have a windlass up forward with a delta anchor, uh, a double anchor roller. Decks look to be in good shape. And the Chinos and the Beneteau decks typically survey very well. This boat is pretty ship shape. Other than uh, needing to have some of the sea tall removed, everything else seems to be ready to go. And even the sea tall, whatever. You can go use the boat right away with it and then just chip away at it. This is a good one. As far as canvas goes, we've got a nice cover here. Look at the photos that covers the wheel and a table that comes up so you can dine outside. Got some sheet bags. Um, by the way, the running rigging, the lines are in really good shape. That's not original stuff. They've been replaced, I've got to say, because they look really clean. Sometimes you get on these boats and it's old, stiff lines, and you're going to have to drop some money on new lines, but it looks really good on this boat. Non skin looks good. I don't see checking or cracking. Big locker here. Big locker here. propane locker on the starboard side. There is room for two tanks. Boat comes with one, but if you thought you needed another one, there's room to put one in there. For electronics, we have a full Ray Marine electronics package, including wind, an E80 GPS chart plotter that does your charting duties as well as your radar duties. The tri data for speed, depth, and trip, as well as an autopilot. This is uh, original stuff from 2007, but it's really good stuff. And I would urge you to just keep on using it until, until you need to replace it for some reason. It's, uh, it's good stuff. Nice compass, no bubble in it. And there are covers for everything. Let's take a look at the salon. First off, I want to point out these cushions. They're not leather, but boy, I, they'll fool you. They really do look like leather. They got a real nice grain that you can see here and they are clean they look like they're brand new cushions all around 
and it's that nice, nice classic look where you kind of have the darker wood with the light cushions. It just makes it really pop back up here. So you got a settee to port, table, with kind of a wraparound dinette area to starboard. A lot of light coming in. We've got all natural light coming in right now, and there is nice curtains on all the uh, opening windows, uh, the upper windows and the lower windows. Now this boat does not have air conditioning, but it has fans, which you'd be surprised at how effective those fans are. Up here in the forward stateroom, you've got two fans. But what it does have is an S-bar diesel heating system. There's our controller for that. So that lets you make heat in the spring and the fall to extend your season. And you don't need to be plugged into shore power for that. It runs off the diesel fuel, same, uh, same tank as your engine. So that's really nice. It dries everything out, keeps it warm. And on those couple, uh, couple days in the summer when it's really hot, you turn the fans on which is a much more efficient use of power than an air conditioning system without all the complications and winterizing that comes with air conditioning. Nice looking space, very, very clean. All right, taking a look at the galley. It's a traditional L-shaped galley on the starboard aft side of the boat. Propane, two burner propane stove with an oven. There's storage cabinets here. If you wanted to put a microwave in, that shelf could come out and a microwave could go in there and it could uh, tie right into an AC outlet over here. They can wire it in. The coffee maker will come with the boat if you want it. There is a large top loading fridge slash freezer and it's working. You can see actually the frost on it. A lot of storage. A little automatic opening trash bin. Nice little drawers that you know is known for. And a dual basin stainless sink with covers so you have more working space if you need it. And everything is super clean on this board. That's the way I like to see it. There's two ways you can sit at this nav station. You can use the back of the settee and sit facing aft, or you undo a little latch here and it all slides forward. You can remove this cushion. And then you have a forward facing seat. So you can have a forward facing, a forward facing dedicated nav station. That is pretty cool. So if you're in navigation mode, you slide it forward. If you're in entertaining mode, you slide it aft and regain a seat in the settee. I like the way they do that. A quick look at the nav station. Uh, ram mic for the VHF for out at the helm. This boat does have uh, extra house batteries. I don't have the, ex uh, the exact count right now, but a prior owner put in extra batteries and they're AGM batteries. You have an AC outlet, a stereo, a 12 volt DC panel, and here's our AC panel with water heater, battery charger, and the outlets. VHF is an ICM422 ICOM. It's a head, I assume that is the macerator pump out switch. And somebody installed an amp meter so you can see uh, how much power you're using. That's what this switch does. It turns the amp meter on. And here's our Santrax inverter. And there is a light as well. Look at the forward stateroom. You got a V-style berth, good size. I don't have a tape measure, but you know, I'm gonna guess that's six foot six. It's pretty long looking. And uh, there is a custom foam mattress topper on top of the uh, 
factory bed, one of these cooling, I don't know if it's the latex foam or whatever, but that does come with it. And you have a storage locker on both sides, hanging lockers, that's on the starboard side. And then the port, got another one, I'll open this one up. We have an opening hatch with a shade one way, screen the other, and there's a little solar fan as well. Looking aft, we'll walk through the salon and we'll look at the aft we'll stateroom. The state room. We have a really good sized bed back here. It's hard, it's a little dark, but you can see it goes back underneath the uh, cockpit. It's really good size. You got standing headroom when you first enter, change your clothes, whatever you need to do. Uh, there's a giant opening port that's right into the cockpit right there. And then another opening port with a screen and shade above and a good size hanging locker. One of the standout features on the Genot 36i is the huge head. So you have a toilet room on one side, you can see the stainless sink, storage. They uh, recently installed an electric toilet, so that's a nice upgrade. Storage behind the sink. And best of all is the separate shower room with a teak seat. Storage behind that cabinet. So giant head for a boat of this size. And while we're in here, let's look behind here. This is the doorway that goes into the locker. So you can access your storage from inside the boat. One of the things that you notice is really cool is they have these storage bins here that slide in and out uh, for parts and things that you might need handy and you can get it from inside the boat. While we're in the locker here, those are the cushions that converts the table to a bed. And some of this stuff will come with the boat, cleaning supplies and you know, any boat safety gear, the life jackets, etc. But uh, there is just is some personal stuff still here. Up the engine compartment. Good access to the Yanmar 3YM30, 29 horsepower. Everything's really clean. It's really clean underneath the engine. Uh, no, no drips or anything that I can see. Hoses all look good. Obviously, a surveyor will give it a closer look as part of a sea trial, but there's rarely an issue. It is a fresh water cooled engine. You can see heat exchanger back there. Power. They're estimating about 1,020 hours. Uh, this boat, like most of these, have uh, the LCP engine hour display, and they end up failing, or not really failing, but becoming intermittent. So if you catch it at the right time, you can see the hours, and you hope you, hope you can at the survey, but it doesn't always happen. And check out how clean this bilge is. Here's your keel bolts, your sump for the bilge pumps. No water in there, very clean, no funny odors. This is how you want to see a bilge. I love to see this. I don't always see this. I usually don't, but this is good. Once again, I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. Thanks for looking at this 2007 Genoa 36 with me. Be sure to reach out to me if you have any questions or would like to set up a showing and I'll take good care of you. All right, talk to you soon, bye.